once upon a time, many eons ago, God had created many things, many creatures, gods, Elohims, different types of angels, different kinds of worlds. God had created realms, dimensions, universes, the multiverse as a whole. Then one day God paused, looked over all he had created, and saw that none was like him, and none could fellowship with him. One day God decided to create a creature that had never existed amongst trillions of many that were made, a creature of his own DNA, of his very nature and essence that would fellowship with him, an immortal creature that would never die as God is forever. That creature was man. Yahweh is one, but he manifested himself into three in order to have a three major civilization. Creations from Yahweh, God the Father. Creations from God the Son and creations from God the Spirit. So there were billions and millions of civilizations that came from this trinity. Every order creature were somehow jealous and envious and they want to become man. They want to possess man. They want to take advantage of man. You know why? Because amongst the Elohims and every level, every civilization, every creature of angelic beings, Elohims, of different civilizations. Man is the only creature that God created to tabernacle, to live inside him. Man was the only creature that, that God wanted to have communion with. Man was the only creature that God calls a wife. So there is something special, there is something supernatural, there is something intimate. There is something about man that the host of angels, creatures of different realms and dimensions, and creatures of angelic category or ranks, are very particular about. When it came to the creation of man, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and all the Elohims, angelic creatures, every possible creature of God was summoned. Come, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So when God said, come, all the Elohims, all the gods came, all the angels, the seraphims, the cherubims, all, all of them, they all came together. When they all came, God said, we are about to make a man that shall rule over you. Man was meant to be so much more than what he is today. Man was a god a son of the emperor of the universe, the father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Adonai, the first and the last, the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning, the I am that I am. A sad day it truly was when man fell from grace and lost his true identity. Creation for millions of years has been crying, praying, weeping for the true man to emerge, for the true man to rediscover the footprints of God, as Enoch did, for the earnest expectation of creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. There is something man carries in the earth. The heavens wait for the prayers of man to change things in the dimensions. The heavens wait on the authority of man to deplete, to raise, to uproot, to set up a new season. Do you know that one man can start praying for Cape Town? 
has only hit her she see that for seven years 20 years oh god change this nation and bring this nation to Yeshua. Oh God, change this nation and bring this nation to Yeshua. Oh God, as you're shaking the heavens, God will deploy powers to bring to manifestation the consistency and intercession of this individual. We are the keepers of this earth. We are the ancient doors of this earth. Ah! 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 Lioness of Rome! Ah! Hey, I'm Catherine Lowe. I'm from Singapore. I've known, I've come to know Pastor John and Nusuki to a friend because I was really very dry up and my church is not going anywhere after serving for so many years, 10 over years. I said there's got to be something more. I've been praying to the Lord for something more. And so I actually know this friend of mine that do flagging and she was uh, on, in tune with this 45 minutes IT. So she recommended me, why don't you try this Pastor John and the Seki 45 M MIT. I said, okay. So when I first tried, I felt I I I I, I felt that his presence, and even Pastor Ola and Oseki, I can feel their presence, and there's some transformation taking my life. There, there's some kind of breakthrough. And when I begin to roar and roar and roar, the more I roar, I I begin to see, oh, there's something that is more to it than just a, a normal kind of Sunday service that I'll be attending. This is very different. So I, I was so engrossed in it. Just amazing. I, I don't know how to describe. It's really indescribable. And I say, this is real. So I came to hear about the bond servant of Christ through my mom who again uh, heard about him over on YouTube. Um, and when I heard his uh, teachings, uh, I realized that there are not a lot of um, ministers out there who preach what uh, Papa preaches. Uh, there are not a lot of ministers who talk about uh, the spiritual world uh, and spiritual warfare. Um, and that is what really uh, intrigued me and uh, one, uh, made me want to follow uh, Pastor John. The ministry of Pastor John is uh, one of a kind, it's really unique. There is nothing like it out there. Um, and uh, your spirit really tells you that this is the place to be. Um, it has changed m my spiritual life. Um, um, it's really difficult to explain how uh, but it's like when you've been walking around for a long time um, and you finally find the one thing that you were missing, that is how it feels like. It's uh, like you've been well, yeah, waiting for something or there was some void that you tried to fill that you couldn't really get from other ministries and that is what I'm feeling that I get from this ministry. Enoch, the Nation of Fire, presents Global Roar for All Nations with the bondservant of Christ, John. Roar for the nation! Join Pastor John Anosuke to War for Nations. Every country must be represented. Register now and be part of the Roar for Nations with Pastor John Anosuke by scanning the QR code on the screen. Date. Saturday, the 7th of December, 2024. Time, 6 p.m. Central African Time. Venue, 284 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Wee! Wee!